making a quick little tutorial on installing the EB40 onto the into the Atrix HD. You need your T5, even a prying thing if you need it. The best way I found to get the back piece off is your fingernail, believe it or not. And um, the four corners, there's a notch, which is the hardest one to get out, but it essentially is the best thing locking it down. The other things will just pop out easily. Of course, you could always use one of these, but you don't want to risk scratching it. So what I do is you just get that nail, pop, pop one. The other ones get a little harder. Two, so you pop those two off. There's some glue. There's some glue in there. I use something, you can use whatever, but I just wanna get that glue off. I do this very gently to remove that adhesive. Popping it out. Just want to make sure there's no more adhesive in the back here. All right, so that's all gone. Then you come up. This plastic backing I didn't take off oh well. So that's that. Hmm. I'm wondering if this was open before. It doesn't look like it was. So you would start with the bottom corners and just pop them off and then gradually work your way up and the tops come out easier once the bottom ones are out. So now you got your screws, you got your battery screws. You want to take that off first before you try to do anything with the battery. You need the T5 connector. Now I want to do this, you know, in a way that I'm not shoving things in there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this black casing off the back as well. It's just a few extra minutes of your time. You want to be careful with this middle one if you do do it because this little plastic can get in the way. And there you have all the screws out. Go ahead and pop that thing off. You gotta be careful right here. It sort of lifts up and over those ports. comes off a lot easier than the other thing.
and there that's all very easily. Now we got the full phone. And I just want to make note there's a white thing here and a blue thing here. It's a protective covering. If you lift it up side by side, it may fall off. So just mind those two things. And there you have it. So you just pop this bad boy out. There's adhesive underneath it that sort of holds it into place. There you go. Now this battery's out, the EB20. Just sort of set it to the side, and now you're ready to pop in the EB40. This connector right here is the infamous connector. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. And that's the connector that is the headpiece um, speaker. So when you try shoving in without taking out the black thing, it hits this and then takes it out of the port. And then you may be able to just smack it around and put it back in, but most likely you're gonna have to take it apart. So I advise just taking the extra minute. You know, some people say, no, you don't have to do it, but whatever. Then it just sort of goes into place here. goes into place. You screw it down. Then it goes right over it, see? 